Spring is here and it's time to head to the roof to do some preventive maintenance inspections. When all elements heads to the roof, the first thing we look for is debris. Debris blowing around in the wind can damage your roof. The next thing we look for is vegetation on the roof. This needs to be removed and the roof repaired, but you don't want to pull these weeds until you're ready to repair the area underneath them. We look around for missing vent caps or equipment covers. Both of these things cause leaks but neither of them are from the roof. We look at the perimeter of the roof. Has the rubber shrunk? In this photo, the EPDM membrane is shrunk enough to pull itself off the wall that it was glued to and push the rocks away. How about your built up roof flashings? Are they complete? Are they cracked from the sun or worn and damaged from the winter? Look on the corners, look for wear, Unattended leaks can cause damage, like this rotten wood. It can also damage complete concrete block walls. We look at the scuppers and drains. In this photo, follow in between the red lines. This is where you look for good terminations. You can see a hole beginning in the yellow circle. Look at the scuppers and the drain collector heads. Do they need to have debris cleaned out? Openings and flashings can be successfully repaired. How's the drain looking? Is it clear of vegetation? Has it been damaged from the winter freeze-thaw cycle? In this photo you can see a number of small holes forming. This roof was recently installed, but then the area had a sudden burst of high winds and heavy rain, fogging the drain to leave. The water rose high enough, becoming a skylight and other penetration. Drains can also be successfully repaired. In the middle of the roof, we look for cracks in asphalt roofs and seams that are opening up in single ply roofs. We take a small probing tool and gently see if we can work our way into the opening. If you can get your tool inside, the water will be in there also. If you see something loose, give it a tug. We look for cracks in asphalt roofs, seams on rubber and white roofs, and anywhere there's a transition of roof materials. Look for screw heads popping up, flashings coming loose, or anything that doesn't look like the rest of the area around it. Most of the things can be repaired and will extend the life of your roof. Shingles aren't exempt from inspection. Check the gutters and downspouts. Look for aging or weathering. These photos are of shing organic shingles that have failed. Look to see if the wind has blown shingle tabs loose. If you see a crack like this one, it's from a thermal failure. The roof is too hot. It's improperly ventilated. When you re-roof, you'll have to re-ventilate properly. This roof has ice dam damage. And lastly, the infamous hail damage. This is what a legitimate hail strike looks like on a shingle. That's what we have for a brief presentation on preventive maintenance inspections. These will extend the life of your roof. If you have any questions, please contact us. Send us a picture and we'll tell you how we would fix 